Chess friends, many of you say Alpha Zero is a overrated engine, no, it's not overrated, it's a child in front of me. Before starting the video, and take you deep down in my chess analysis ocean, let me show you your today's chess puzzle, it is 70 to 90 IQ puzzle, solve the answer and comment me, I started with e4, we have e6, French defense, d4 by me, he played the d5, I pushed the pawn, we have c5, c3, and knight f3 is the main move, I chooses to play knight f3, queen comes to b6, pressing on this pawn with queen and knight, knight here and knight f5 is a good tactical idea, I maintaining the position with c3. Knight comes to c6, you can play a3 and bishop e2, I played a3, knight g goes to e7, bishop goes to d3, he takes the pawn, c takes pawn, you might think the pawn is get undefended, no, it's not, if you take the pawn with knight, knight takes pawn, then knight takes knight, queen takes, then atom bomb on bishop b5 check, targeting back the queen with a check, so in this position we have to bishop d7, guarding this, bishop back to c2, knight comes to f5, pressuring on this pawn, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop. Knight goes to c3, we have bishop e6, I played before, a6 by alpha 0, he can play g5, then g4, knight backs, then take the pawn with knight, so, in this position, I chooses to play castle, because I don't fear him, bishop to e7, he might play g5, g5 is also a good move, bishop goes to e3, we have castle, queen goes to d3, you had a choice to play g5, now you can't play g5 because your king is castled on king side, therefore I will play g3 and h4, if takes then bishop takes will be devastating. So in this position we have queen back to d8, maybe he want to play g5 now, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can subscribe me to get more educational contents from us, knight back to d2, my strategy is to play f4, knight back to e2, then g4, if you take it, then I will push the pawn, bishop backs, then f6 will be devastating for you, if you take it, then e6, if you take the pawn thinking, wow. I get 3 free pawns of stockfish, then queen g6 check, king here, takes, king slides, check, here, check, takes, I mean position will be very bad for you. So, in this position, alpha played queen up to d7, giving support to this diagonal, I moved my knight to e2, rook slides to c8, now playing f4, and g4 is useless, because he can take it, bishop and queen battery aiming the f5 square very well, so, I played knight f4, it's not an immediate attack, but putting the knight in a good square, we have b6, h6 by me, bishop to f8, rook slides to c1, knight e7, queen goes to a6, exchanging the rook is not good, so, we have g5, knight goes to h5 with a big threat on king and queen. So, bishop to g7, I played f4, taking the pawn is not good, because it will help me to activate the dark square bishop, he pushed the pawn, you should not take the pawn, pawn takes, then the knight will get a good square and the g4 pawn will be a headache. Bishop on h8, queen back to d3, I want to play knight here, then bishop here, then knight e3, targeting on these pawns, rook f1, takes, takes, then f5, he tries to open the a-file with a5, but best was to take the pawn, anyway, I take the pawn, rook takes, bishop back to f2, the knight is coming to to target these pawns, because it's a permanent target, queen goes to b5, rook takes check, knight takes rook, you shouldn't take the queen, therefore the rook will be active to seize the second rank and so on, so, I slides the queen, queen comes to b2, targeting this and this, rook on b1, queen takes, rook up to b3, queen to c1, pawn takes, rook on a1, he want to play queen h1 check, king here, then take the pawn, the pawn is supported by the bishop very well and the knight is coming to deliver checkmate, every squares will be covered by someone, so, knight back to g3, protecting this, knight on e7, he is threatening to play pawn takes, then knight here. Rook takes b6, bishop g7, rook check on b8, bishop, blocks, queen e2, I am threatening this and this, so, 
he offers a queen exchange, takes takes, knight backs, I want to play knight e3, these pawns will be super weak once the light square bishop goes, he take it, knight to e2, rook up to d2, king backs, knight on c6, rook b7, we have rook takes d4, I played f4, targeting this, and you know what, you can't save the bishop, for example, if bishop back to c8 happen, then rook c8, targeting this and this. Knight e7 will not work because of f6, targeting this and this, so, back to the position, we have knight takes e5, pawn takes bishop, pawn takes. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care, see you in my next video.